Hi, it's Darcy, and I have some questions about your book, Kitty. My first question is, what are some of the challenges and rewards you encountered while writing Kitty? Hi there, I'm Elma Nicholl and I'm the author of Kitty, which is Blackwell's Children's Book of the Month for April, which I'm so excited about. Um, when I think about some of the challenges and also the rewards of writing Kitty, I think the reward is that this is a prequel to my first book, A Kind of Spark, which also became a TV show that I wrote. Um, and that's my dog's head. Please excuse him <laughs> as he walks past. Um, and so the, the reward was knowing that the fans of the book um, and the fans of the TV show are going to enjoy Kitty having her very own book, although it is a standalone. You do not have to have read the first book or watch, have watched the show to read this. I think the challenge is making sure that the book is as good as possible so that the fans do like it, but also that new, so that new readers can also really enjoy it too. That's always a challenge. Do you have... Any advice for aspiring authors, particularly those who are writing stories that involve characters on the autism spectrum? Um, and if I had to give advice to young writers, I would say read. Read vastly, read widely, read diversely, read for pleasure, read for fun. If you learn something while you're reading, that's great, but reading ultimately is about having fun and immersing yourself and escaping into a different world. Question three. As an author, what are some of the most fulfilling aspects of seeing your work connect with readers? I think for me, the most rewarding part is when people really connect to what you're writing about. Because when you're writing, it's, it's quite lonely, it's quite isolating, you are by yourself. You don't know if you write something and it's from your point of view or it's a comment. Um, you don't always know if other people feel the same, especially I'm an autistic writer and I write about the experience of being autistic and I only write about my own experience. I don't claim to, to, to represent other people, but it's always incredible to me when other people say, that's me as well. And I get hundreds of people now telling me that they feel the same when they read my work. And that's incredibly rewarding. Right, darling? <laughs> what are some books or authors that have inspired you? I was really inspired by Jacqueline Wilson as a young person. I loved how often she wrote and I loved that she really understood what it meant to be a young girl and I liked that she wrote about characters that other people didn't always write about. I was really inspired by her and I still am today. Thank you so much Blackwells and thank you for making Kitty your children's book of the month for April. See you soon. Bye. Thank you very much for answering my questions and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.